students today we are going to see trick to solve bond order questions okay first of all what is bond order okay it is nothing but the number of overlaps between okay overlapping between two atoms it is uh, overlapping abdina number of over lapping between two atoms so in words what we can say it is the number of bonds number of bonds between atoms okay so when when we take okay so oxygen okay what is the number of bonds between the uh, two oxygen atoms it is 2 so the bond order is 2 here for nitrogen it is 3 so the bond order is 3 okay so for uh, for any other atom so for fluorine if you take the bond order is 1 okay so if the number of overlapping increases what does it mean the strength of the bonding increases okay so here there are two overlapping so the strength increases so what we can say the bond order okay the bond order increases the stability increases stability of the molecule increases okay the bond strength the bond strength okay increases okay see if the uh, if the overlap increases what happens the, the atoms come even closer to closer so what happens if the bond order increases bond length decreases isn't it so the, if the overlapping increases if the overlapping increases the, the atoms even come closer to each other so the bond length uh, decreases so in short how we can say so if you concise all the things okay bond order i am representing it by bo okay it is directly proportional to okay the stability okay so bond order increases stability increases it is directly proportional to what bond strength okay and what we can say it is inversely proportional to bond length okay bond length bl so this is the thing so based on this concept okay based on this concept you will be having uh, questions okay related to this concept only you will be having questions so so let's see how to uh, determine bond order uh, so bond order what is the formula we generally use bond order for finding out bond order it is the number of uh, bonding electrons minus number of anti bonding right isn't it so anti bonding electrons divided by 2 okay the whole thing divided by 2 so this is the formula so but how to know the number of bonding electrons or anti bonding electrons but uh, don't think i'm taking it elaborate but you must learn then i will uh, show you reveal the trick okay so the number of bonding electrons minus number of anti bonding electrons divided by 2 so here there is there are two cases okay so we are following electron filling order up to 14 electrons so literally we can say this is up to nitrogen we can say okay so 7 plus 7 14 electrons no four systems so this we can say from oxygen onwards we can follow this rule so this is nothing but your alpha of the principle only so what is of the principle how what is the order so 1s 2s this is the order no this is the order we usually follow so 3s so on so if you see when two atoms this is for one particular atom when two atoms form a bonding okay form a uh, form a molecular uh, form a molecule so what happens see uh, two bonding orbitals two atomic orbitals join to make two molecular orbitals so one is anti bonding and one is anti bonding so here uh, the s electrons will form sigma bond isn't it so it is a sigma bonding and sigma anti bonding so 2s it is sigma bonding sigma anti bonding anti bonding we represent it by star so 2p if you see 2p what is uh, pi, uh, p orbitals p orbitals are dumbbell shaped and they will be what uh, uh, perpendicular to each other so one of the uh, p orbital will form sigma bond and the other two will form pi bonds okay so this we have to keep in memory so this is a sigma bonding orbital and pi bonding orbital so this will be higher in energy when uh, uh, moving from lower to higher the energy increases okay energy increases in this order so this is what pi anti bonding and sigma anti bonding so this is the sequence we have to remember so nothing but so sigma uh, bonding sigma anti bonding for 1s sigma bonding anti bonding for 2s so here only you see 
pi degenerated orbitals what are pi degenerated orbitals so they have equal in energy okay so this comes first this x y and all our representation only okay then comes your sigma bonding then your pi degenerated anti bonding and your sigma anti bonding okay so here what is the difference is only this two has swapped that's all okay this two has swapped here you see only this change not uh, 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 apart from that everything is the same okay so for uh, for for 14 electrons so let's let's try for nitrogen let's try for nitrogen nitrogen is what so you have to uh, uh, count the number of electrons for one nitrogen there are seven electrons and another nitrogen isn't it so seven plus seven what 14 so how will you arrange this uh, so in the order of increasing energy only you will police exclusion principle only you will follow okay so uh, remember so two 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 electrons so degenerate orbitals how will you fill one 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 okay so you know how to fill it so here i have excess so i'm filling it here filling like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i'm having two more extra okay so two so what is the bond bonding electrons number of bonding electrons one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so this is what when applying in the formula ten minus one two 3 4 so this is anti bonding no 3 4 only 4 so 6 by 4 is what so 3 okay so when you come for n2 plus n2 plus is what plus means what one electron minus that's all so 7 plus 7 14 one, one electron minus so 14 minus 1 okay so this is 13 electrons so 13 this is what electrons only so 13 electrons where will you take you will remove one electron from here no so here one so uh, how will you count so 9 minus 4 divided by 2 it is 2.5 okay so this is what uh, n2 minus n2 minus what nitrogen plus one electron extra so it will become 15 electrons it will become 15 electrons so where will you put the extra electron it will go here so this is for normal nitrogen and the extra electron will go here for n2 minus so what this is this will become 10 minus uh, 5 divided by 2 2.5 so you may ask this is 15 electrons and we have to follow this rule but the species is it is uh, what it is derived from nitrogen so we have to follow this formula only for the sequence only for n2 okay so here for oxygen i'm just uh, telling you so uh, this is what 8 plus 8 correct 8 plus 8 16 electrons so how will you fill 2 2 2 2 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so i can put uh, 2 2 14 so this is what 15 16 so how many bonding electrons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 minus 1 2 3 4 uh, 5 6 okay so what this is 2 so the bond order is 2 so but we, we will not be having enough time to calculate this no but this is also required when they ask you so that uh, whether it is diamagnetic or paramagnetic this will be really helpful or about 20 electrons so that your trick cannot help you so you have to remember that also so this is your trick okay see the number of electrons bond order and species okay 10 11 12 this is the number of electrons okay so remember this 14 belongs to nitrogen and you know what is the bond order of nitrogen everyone 3 okay so from 14 13 12 11 10 increasing order so when going going away from 14 okay minus 0.5 okay 2.5 2 1.5 1, 1 like that it is, will be symmetrical on both the sides you, you just have to remember this 14 3 on either side it is symmetrical just you have to decrease 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay so some of the species i have conceived but this you don't have to remember by you need not by heart okay i have concised so here what this is what i n2 is n2 is 14 so n2 plus means minus one electron so 13 13 is 
okay so you, you need not remember uh, just a simple logic it's symmetric on both the sides okay you just have to remember 14 3 that's all so what is carbon uh, monoxide you see ca carbon is 6 plus oxygen is 8 so 14 electrons 14 is equal to 3 so cyanide okay Carb uh, carbon is 6 uh, plus nitrogen is what uh, 7 plus 1 uh, minus no plus 1 electron so what it will uh, for, this is also 14 so 14 the order is uh, order is 3 so fluorine what is the so this is what 9 plus 9 18 18 is equal to 1 so o2 2 minus what is that so this is 8 plus 8 2 electrons plus so what what this is this is uh, this is 18 so this order is 1 like that you have to follow okay you need not by heart just uh, use this simple logic so another one more thing if you have as for if you have to find bond order for resonating structures okay like benzene what trick you have to follow you have to follow this trick okay if you have uh, resonating structures if you have structures with pi bonds 1 plus number of pi bonds divided by number of sigma bonds okay if you take for example so if, uh, if you think if you don't know what is pi bond okay see if uh, a b okay this is a pure sigma bond if there is double bond one is sigma bond and one is pi bond if there is a triple bond one is sigma bond and the other two are pi bonds there are two pi bonds here two pi bonds here if you take benzene they are asking you to find out the bond order so so what you have to do one plus what is the number of pi bonds the pi bonds i have marked in black color so you have three pi bonds okay what is the number of sigma bonds all the red color are sigma bonds okay <coughs> it is what it is six 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, what will come? So, 1 plus 1 divided by, sorry, 1 divided by 2. So, it is 1 plus 0 0.5, 1.5. Okay, the bond order for benzene is what? 1.5. It has partial single bond and double bond character. That's why. Okay, so if you see for the CO3, 2 minus species. So, first you have to uh, know how to write the structure. If you do a uh, mistake in them, then everything will go wrong. So, don't worry. So, find out how to write the Lewis structure. That's all. So, carbon valency is 4. Okay. Uh, so, 1, 2, 3, 4. And oxygen valency is 2. So, this oxygen is having 2 valency. The remaining minus sign, uh, 1 minus sign on oxygen and 1 minus sign on oxygen. This oxygen. Okay. So, apply the same trick. Okay. So, 1 plus how many pi bonds are there? This bond will be keep on resonating, no? So, every bond, this is not a pure sigma bond. This will be a mixture of pi and sigma bond, okay? Uh, so, keep on, it will be resonating. So, we have to follow this rule. How many pi bonds are there? One, two, one. And how many sigma bonds are there? So one sigma, two sigma and three sigma, okay? The red is, the red is pi here, okay? So, three. So, what will happen? 1 plus 1 divided by 3 is 0.33. So, the answer is 1.33. Okay. So, if they are asking you, okay, what is the order of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and CO3? This is a famous question they will ask. Okay. So, here you can apply the rule. So, this is what? So, here... Uh, seeing itself you can see but uh, I am telling you the rule so here uh, the, the trick you can apply 6 plus uh, 8 14 so the bond order is so according to our uh, trick 14 3 no so the bond order is 3 here okay 3 here and for carbon dioxide by seeing itself you can see it is 2 or you can apply this rule also you can apply this rule also 1 plus how many pi bonds are there 2 pi bonds are there and 2 sigma bonds so 1 plus 1 equal to 2 so here the bond order is 3 and is 2 and here now we found out 1.33 so what is the order of bond order bond order increases in this order okay so bond order increases in this order so bond length will be inversely proportional no so bond length will be what so bond length will be increasing in this order okay just the reverse okay so i have a certain questions for you a set of questions for you please try and this will give you 
a lot of knowledge and understanding please do try i'll share the answer in the next video okay so among these species you have to answer which is the least stable among this and which is which is having high bond bond order among this and which is having the smallest bond length and the order of bond energy of these species and correct order in which the oxygen oxygen bond length increases for the following species you have to tell in which in which order the oxygen oxygen bond length increases okay the thermal stability of the following you have to tell and try this for no3 what is the bond order so you have to tell what is the bond order okay so meet you in the next video thank you